And good afternoon, everybody. This is, of course, one and only crypto enthusiast Light Liger here. And today we are going to be talking about DeFi. And most of us kind of missed on that initial train. So many projects in a matter of hours and days saw really, really high gains. Like we are talking about 100%, 200%, 600%, and even some saw thousand percentage and beyond and you were probably thinking like damn if I only had invested a bit earlier if only I had that information prior and the good news is that there's going to be a second wave there's going to be a new bunch of DeFi tokens which are already out and they're going to be mooning next and we're going to be talking about those in this video and then there's going to be a third wave because everybody saw the whole potential of the DeFi ecosystem, saw the amount that is being locked into smart contracts in the DeFi ecosystem, and they realized like, okay, we gotta be doing this on our own chain as well. So we're gonna be seeing in probably a couple of months, we're gonna be seeing a lot new wave outside probably Ethereum and in inside Ethereum as well of DeFi projects. And there's gonna be a lot of yield farming guys. So make sure you uh, pay attention to that. So um, it's not over. You can still ride the second wave and the third wave. And who knows, even the first wave projects can see net massive gains still. But let's get started without further ado. So not all uh, DeFi is actually happening on Ethereum. So first of all, we have a project on EOS called EOS DT done by Equilibrium, Equilibrium, really hard word for me to pronounce, so bear with me. And they have basically two tokens that they have created. They have a system where you can basically stake your EOS DT, which is a dollar stable coin. And you're gonna be very surprised about the percentage that they're gonna be offering, by the way. And uh, they also have their own native token, which is called NUT token, which gives you uh, governance. So. What they are basically doing is they are building connections through blockchain. So EOS can now interact with Bitcoin's channel uh, blockchain and they are developing Ethereum bridge, Binance bridge, I believe. I think this is Telos and Tezos, Ripple and Tron. And they have created staking pools. They have the EOS DT stable currency, um, which is collateralized. And there's a lot of, lot of things that they are building in the future, like pyramiding, which is leverage, uh, the collateral of your choice on upside markets, pooled lending, collateralized loans. This is a big project, a lot of millions already locked in, 15 million, by the way, uh, in the smart contract right now, which has been audited. The code can be watched. And there is a um, system we're going to be uh, or you should basically, because there's another project we're going to be covering in the in the video, which is kind of linked to this one. And it is a very, very exciting project because not all of this stuff that we talked about operating and having that uh, connection through the other blockchains, but actually through the staking percentages that they're going to be giving. So they are going to be giving for your ASDT 13.71% API. Okay. And let this sink in. This is a smart contract for Thetter. USDT, you can get 12% in a centralized setting, okay? 12% in a centralized setting. That is the highest thing I've seen. And this one's gonna give you 13.71%. So if you're gonna be putting $1,000 of your fiat money, you're gonna be taking that from the evil bankers and you're gonna be swapping it into EOS and then into USDT, or maybe you can swap it straight to the USDT, whatever. And then you're gonna be depositing that into the smart contract, damn, you're gonna be making $137 a year on that $1,000 that you put in. That's a lot of goddamn money. And they also have their NUT token, which is gonna be in you 11 percentage, which gives you, by the way, um, you get to, it's a governance token basically, and there's gonna be a lot more of things they're gonna be able to do with it. EOS is also giving you 2%. This is not the most competitive rating, but in terms of a decentralized option, pretty competitive. I know Celsius gives you 3.5%, I believe. I have some EOS there, but that is a centralized entity and that can always exit scam or do something like that. But with decentralized things, especially which, which has been audited, it's a very lucrative, opportunity and I'm definitely going to be exploiting that op <laughs> you know option here and I'm going to be buying ESDT after I've done recording this video because 13.71% 
is really nice gains, okay. And you don't want to have all of your backs in Ethereum if something goes wrong in there. So it's nice to have stable coins around multiple blockchains with different percentages and run by different projects. And where is the money actually coming from? Why they are able to pay so much? So basically it comes from Rex, which is a leasing type of a system. I mean, people who know about EOS can probably tell it a bit better than I can. And block producers, which give 2.3%, API staking from EOS and API staking from NOT and liquidation system and the pay fee of 1.8% and also the staking API. So it is very, very good project and if you're looking for a good stable coin which is going to give you very nice interests i really recommend this one but let's move into our next project and by the way you can see uh by the way there's a this is why it's saying a 900 percentage because there was some type of a uh, dump in there but basically um you know you can buy it on bancor and you can also buy it on HitBTC. I believe it's on Nudex as well, but I'm gonna have all the links down below where you can buy it. Next up, we have Serum, and this is a truly a second wave project because it's not listed anywhere yet. It's on CoinMarketCap though, which is uh, pretty nice. So um, this is not on the market yet, but now you know, and I told you, and now you can basically see when that's gonna be happening, which is, August 11th, that is tomorrow um, where the actual listing is going to be happening and then you can buy it and you can be among the first ones to buy this token and can see really, really nice gains as it goes viral. And this is built on Solana. Uh, what they are doing here is with the SRM token, they also have Serum USD, which is a stable coin. Basically, you give discounts on the fees on their exchange and also um, it can be staked for interest. And also they are doing buyback and burning the tokens, which means the supply is going down and means the actual project will become more valuable. So, um, you know, I'm very excited to buy this tomorrow. So, and there's cross chain swaps between the Solana blockchain and Ethereum. And it kind of exists, I believe the stable coin exists on both uh, on Solana and ERC uh, on Ethereum. So uh, also another one, and there's white paper. You can read about this more on the thing, but let's kind of look into the actual staking rewards. They were kind of interesting. So the leader here gets 15% API for the node is 2%. And then there's a node reward of zero to 13% based on the performance. And there's also other potential rewards for nodes and stuff like that. So we can probably see a couple of nice percentages on those stable coin rewards and for the token itself. So, and as it's sold and bought and, you know, this is a very lucrative offer. So now you have been, you are in the scoop right now for the next um, second wave DeFi token, which is probably going to be uh, making a lot of big, big moves. And as I said, it's, you want to check out their social media until the listing happens. Then we have Oikos Cash which is operating on Tron. And it's basically a, a Uniswap with a lot more better interface. That's a bit of a shots fired at you, Uniswap, even though you did the version to it. So it's a kind of shitty interface. It needs more information. That's why I kind of like about um, the Oigos Cash. So basically when you log into your Tron address, you are basically able to swap between the things and you're also able to provide liquidity soon. I, I'm not sure is it an, uh, available yet. But what they have is synthetic assets, which are called synths, which are backed by the Oikos Networks token, which can be staked, by the way. So that's another way to get more money out of it. And basically, um, they have their own synths for stable coins. So I can provide money to the stable coin pools and I will be getting stable coins and I don't have to worry about the tokens price going down because $1 is $1. And that's great, right? And there is also developer tools for Oikos and Oikos is going to be, obviously Tron is doing their own Uniswap, which is called JustSwap, but the Just token is basically worthless, even though it has been going up a bit recently and it's airdrop, but I, I don't really see, I think Oikos is just better in terms of tokenomics and I don't really trust Justin that much on, on the project. It's kind of like ironic that the ones projects that are not backed by Tron are performing a lot better. 
and the trading is happening on TRX and with TRC20s without wrapping those tokens. And here you can see a bit of their roadmap, what they are building. They're integrating Chainlink also. Uh, the Sins are launching uh, quarter three and mobile ready interface and all this stuff. And there's going to be a lot more coming on this project. So uh, keep your eyes on Oikos Cash because it's going to be the big player in Tron. And as I said, like the these projects are going to be Okay, right now it was topping at 11 cents. See, let's see the 14 day chart here. So it was at four cents. Um, I'm going to be buying it immediately goes uh, uh, below 10 cents. Maybe I will buy at 10 cents because I will see this uh, going up a lot more. This is just the beginning for Oigos Cash and DeFi on Tron. So you want to get into this one as well. Uh, but moving on, we have Octus, which is a decentralized um, platform that is building applications. So DPGI. I've probably featured it before. It's basically um, just where you can stake your die and get 3.25% interest on it. They have also ACO, which is, uh, I want to say it's a margin trading on DeFi. They also have their own token, by the way, uh, called ACO token. And here you can see a bit of the charts. Uh, I think this this is not, I think I think this is spot. But they talk about call options and hedges, and I, I have to look more into this myself. But it's another project that it's going to be out, and ACO is also viable. And this one is not too, it hasn't bursted out yet as a DeFi project. And they also have buyback and burn. So they are burning the tokens, which means the supply is going down, and that means higher price, guys. And Octus is, you know, as you can see the chart is kind of, it's rising. Okay, it's worth 13 cents. Now we are at 14, 4, 44. Um, there was a nice dip here at 29 cents. So I think there might be a, another like this of a deep dip and I want to buy the next dip. Um, so don't below, don't buy 44 cents. But then again, uh, it was at 45 cents. So this one also, I think is going to be seeing a lot more gains. The 30 day is only 250%. But it's uh, ranked 200, uh, 283, and once it kind of breaks from there, it's going to go up more as more people. Uh, Big Boy is going to be talking about this soon. Trust me on that. And then we have MC Dex, and they have basically a Dex. They have this interesting Trump thing going on where you can basically bet on will Donald Trump win or will he lose? And this one is a contract basically on die, and if Trump wins, uh, you're going to get 150% of your returns. And if he loses, I think you get like 30% returns or something, something like that. But that was kind of, this is interesting. And they have also, well, a lot of things, perpetual contracts and, you know, leverage trading on a DEX, which is kind of unique still. And they also, you kind of can read more about it. But this is a DeFi project that is, still kind of undiscovered and i don't know how much this is going to go up but you know i think it's riding also the DeFi wave as you can see let's see the 14 day chart here for mc dex and it was at three dollars and now it's at seven dollars i think it was lower when i was starting to do this video today it was at 5.81 <laughs> so <laughs> maybe i should have bought him personally today a bit earlier but um might see still a lot of gains today so who knows and it's a fresh new project i think it has been around less than um it was launched on july 13th and look at where it was at some point and we might see well now is a good time to buy and relatively so if you get a $5 price or under $7, I would buy it. Given the fact that it was at $13, that means that it can go back. Max supply is not really that big. So a lot of room to grow there. But let's move on. And now we have DXDAO, which is also a big heavy hitter. This has been publicized a bit already. And this is an extremely low supply. And what they have built is really cool dApps. One is MixF, which is basically a privacy uh, the application which allows you to mix your Ethereum and it will become private. So you need to steal money from the Fed and you don't need to mix it and you can contract. So you mix it on Mixer and you get privacy on Ethereum. It's a very cool thing. And then they have Mesa, which is fully permissionless DEX. 
which allows ring trades and ring is a form of a privacy thing. I can't really explain you specifically what the rings do, but I know that they have a lot to do with privacy and I think um, Monero is utilizing rings. And then they have DXWAP, which is exchanging tokens. I guess there's a privacy element here as well. And then there's a pre it's this sort of like um prediction market on decentralized thing called omenet.f. And this is something I probably will be doing a full video on later on. We're gonna be looking into those dApps because this is a big project for sure. It's a $200 token. As I said, supply is only um, <laughs> 20, 20 hundred uh, thousand. Okay, I can't speak in numbers today. You, you can see it on the screen. And um, also this token, massive gains. I mean, this was all below $100. And now it's at, well, below $200. It's still, I want to probably buy at 150 or somewhere here. So I'm going to be waiting for correlation and then I will be buying it. It's still not late to buy in still 30 days, 115%. And if we're going to be looking at any other DeFi project, they go 300% or something like that. But maybe there is some questions about whatever is the utility of this token, what where it can be used, where does the value come from, even though there's like nice dApps around it. So you have to do a bit of research on this. So... Um, there's interesting gasless transactions and feeless, uh, you know, uh, anonymizing of assets. So that's going to be an interesting thing. And they're going to be reducing trading fees on DEX protocols by holding DXD. So um, there's going to be demand for privacy in Ethereum 100%. But let's move on. Um, we have the second last project, which is called P Network. And P Network is basically building kind of, it is related into the project we uh, featured first, Equilibrium. And basically what they're doing is having Litecoin, EOS, and Bitcoin tokens on Ethereum. And they're going to be working on a lot of other ones. And basically the their utility token uh, gives governance things. And I think there was, um, you can put it on liquidity pools, I believe. And it's also an interesting project because we're going to be seeing a lot more of these tokens operating on Ethereum because people don't want to, you know, trade on centralized exchanges anymore, or as some will do. But I, what I mean is that more and more spot trading will move into decentralized exchanges. And people want to own Bitcoin, but they don't necessarily want to own it on the Bitcoin's network. And they want to cut some fees. So they're going to be buying it inside Ethereum instead. And that's where the PNT um, tokens come out. And here's some of the statistics revolving around this project. And it's still on its infancy in terms of the price. So you'll look at the 30-day uh, chart here. Um, it was at 70 cents and now we are at 130. And it's going to be going up more. And this is also a very, very new project started in late June. And you can see very, very nice gains. And maybe there's going to be a dip soon. And that's when I'm going to be acquiring this one. So... Um, and it was previously known as Ada, by the way. So um, I remember that one. But the last project we're going to be featuring is Neutrino. And Neutrino is a stable coin on Waves, which gives you pretty massive APRs. Because the APR of this stable coin is going to be based on partially on the Wave staking rewards. So instead of giving you the staking rewards, it's going to be giving you um, the actual rewards in Neutrino, which is their stable coin. It's off the to US dollar. And it is like a very decentralized system and 15% APR, pretty high. If it can, it can even give like 30% APR if the price of waves goes up. Uh, the APR for this one is going to go up as well. So it's kind of reliant on waves a bit, but the minimum that it's going to be giving, I believe, is around 6%. So um, the Neutrino is a very, very cool um, stable coin option like the first one we covered. Waves, you know, will it go up in price is a big question. I know waves is very technologically sound chain but it needs to be seen. They're going to have a bit of a problem of marketing outside of the Russian audience, in my opinion. So that's where they need to kind of work on. 
and here it says like the yield staking in if the the price of uh, waves is going go up I believe by according to this thing by 1.5 percent in 150 percent so the annual uh, the, for the stable going you're gonna be in 6.5 percent and I believe the yield could be going up to 32 percent during through the, this equation so very high stable coin rewards um, which could be very nice so I'm not gonna be any more staking uh, my waves to just to get uh, waves rewards I'm gonna be opting out for neutrino because this seems like much more better business business option but that's pretty much my uh, rundown of these token projects and it's kind of struggling to actually stay at the one dollar but that's kind of like it still has a uh, one million trading volumes so that's that's it's a steady project and it's on a couple of exchanges already so um and i'm gonna leave them below but um that's pretty much my rundown of these DeFi projects which are still kind of in the evolving phase and they're going to be seeing boosts in the future so this second wave not too late guys and i will do a video on the third wave as more DeFi projects pop out if you are a DeFi developer i want your product to be project to be featured on the channel, you can write me an email at lightliger at protomail.com and maybe we can uh, get into a business agreement. But um, I don't really have anything else to add. You can tip me some tokens here if you like the content, obviously, um, because this was not a sponsored review or anything. I'm just not getting any endorsements from these projects, by the way. But thanks for watching. I will see you guys on the next video.